obviously by throwing a shutout, they did a nice job. A lot of guys contributed, which is great to see. Uh, and, you know, obviously some guys that uh, uh, have had a little bit up and down, they did a great job tonight, you know, and that's what it's about, just playing as well as we can at the end of the season. And uh, today was a nice step. Obviously, we had a tough series up at Florida State. Guys competed like crazy, did a good job, fell a little bit short. The message to the guys is, once again, listen, it's two or three pitches every night. And that's what happened in Tallahassee. They played a little bit better than us in about, really, about one or two pitches uh, in two of the three games. And tonight, we played a little bit better, and the guys did a good job. Uh, you pitched uh, six, uh, six guys tonight. Was that by design a little bit to get guys ready for this weekend? Absolutely by design. I mean, first of all, you know, when I throw a lot of guys, you know I mean? We're trying to win the game. I mean, number one, I'm trying to win the game because I'm doing it that I think it gives guys different looks. But the positive of that, too, is it keeps guys sharp, you hope, for the weekend. So, yes, I mean, all of those guys, it was by design. Is Zach Favre coming in there in a pressure situation? I think it was second and third. Mm -hmm. uh, he got out of that jam. And I think it was good to see him bounce back. Yeah, absolutely. I can tell you, Zach Favre is pitching tonight. I mean, there's no question about it. Look, I, I knew, uh, you know, obviously, he unfortunately you know, didn't get the job done, you know, in that on Sunday. But it doesn't come down to one pitch. doesn't come down to one inning. Uh, that's the life of a closer. You know, we had certainly we had other opportunities on Sunday to win the game earlier, score more runs. We didn't do it. It's a team effort. But I can tell you that Zach was definitely getting in the game tonight without any question. These guys have all the confidence in the world in Zach. I've got all the confidence in the world in him. And, look, he came in a big situation, second and third, arguably their best hitter out, two outs, and got him out. So he did a great job. Let's talk about this this weekend a little bit. It's a big series. Uh, everyone knows the stakes. I know earlier you were talking about you're not really paying attention to the conference standings, but – you are in that second place spot. You know, yeah. everyone's trying to chase Southern Miss and get some wins. You could potentially put yourself in position to, to win the conference regular season. So just kind of talk about the importance. Well, of you asked this, me the question weekend. about the standings a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so I will say I do know the standings now. Okay. Uh, I, I do know the standings now with with, uh, with two weekends ago. Listen, yeah. I just told inside. I told these guys. You know, it's it, you don't. You see, they don't need my motivation to know what's at stake, and they are in position to potentially win a championship, and that should never be taken lightly. You never know when you have that chance. You really don't. Uh, there's a lot of things that got to happen. All we know is we just got to focus on us and do the, get the job done. But you're right. I mean, the guys, because of the way they play, they put themselves in position to potentially win a championship, and we're obviously going against a very good Tulane team. Listen, everybody in Conference USA is good. I mean, that's it. Uh, Tulane has got outstanding pitching. Uh, without any question, some of the best arms in the league. And their position players are veterans. They're all older. You know, Canizero and Middleton and those guys are really good players. I've seen them for four years. Uh, so we certainly have our work cut out for us. The key this weekend, uh, I can tell you this, one of the keys this weekend is to not give away free passes. We've got to play the game. Uh, unfortunately, at Florida State, as well as we pitched, of the 15 runs, seven of them were walks or hit by batters. Um, you know, we pitched very well, but we gave them runs. And this week, and we're not going to be able to do that against a very good two-lane team. You went back to pitching lively on Friday night. Is that your plan this weekend? Or? Yeah, live is, live is definitely going Friday. Live is going to go Friday. Matulis is going to go Saturday. And we'll TBD again on Sunday. Uh, you know, but the reason I did it, uh, you know, a lot of people are asking me why I did that. We were rolling with it. You know, a lot of people ask me originally why I did it. And, uh, yeah, and, then, why yeah, and then we won a couple games doing that. You know what I mean? But it's just at the end of the day, Matulis has been pitching great. Ben's been pitching great. It doesn't matter Friday or Saturday. But the reason I did it is, is uh, I wanted Ben to pitch the first game of the conference tournament. And now what happens is that you're going a day shorter every time. So today we play Friday. The following week we play East Carolina on Thursday. And then the conference tournament opens up Wednesday. So really you're thinking a month ahead. But you don't. I don't want to throw on short day, one day short rest every single week for four weeks. So that's the reason I did it. Talk about tonight a little bit. Uh, did you guys pretty much accomplish what you wanted to do going into such a big series kind of up this weekend? Yeah, definitely accomplished that. Uh, this was a big game for us, but the Cookman's a good team, and uh, they're going to have a great rest of the season from here on out. So uh, that win really helps us um, for later on in the season as far as RPI and whatnot. But uh, now we're moving on to Tulane. Got to go after them. I know you, the three games were spread out a little bit. The first game was a long time ago up in yeah. Daytona, and you guys didn't like weren't happy with your performance there. So it was a good, you know, you played three games. One of them was added late, but you guys ended up, I guess, winning the series, you know, spread yeah. out. Um, yeah, the second game, I think, was a makeup for, yeah, uh, for the Troy, Troy game, for the that, Troy game that we missed. That, um, last week, yeah. that was last week. And, I mean, like I said, they're a great team. They, they played real well the first time. Um, I think, I mean, they obviously beat us. Uh, we weren't, weren't completely satisfied, and uh, we came back, and it's big to come out and win the series overall. Yeah, I know, you know, you look at conference standings and everything else, you know, you talk about this weekend, you guys are sitting there in second place, you yeah. know, you see Southern Miss, they've played three more games right now, they basically have three more wins, mm -hmm. everyone's got the same amount of losses, so, I mean, you guys know potentially what's the stake, you guys are right in there yeah. to potentially win, win this thing, is that going through your head as you uh, Of course it's going weekend? through our head, um, you know, we're all, we're all out here to win, 
Um, like you said, they're, they're three games ahead of us right now, but they've got an off week uh, this coming week, and uh, we're going out there, and there's no doubt that we can sweep everybody that we play, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a game of baseball. You never know what could happen. Um, we got to come out every day and play our game and do what we do. Uh, what did you learn from that Florida State series? I know something you, know, you would like to pull one out, especially yeah. on that Sunday, but is there anything positive that you, you, you take away from that weekend in Tally? Um, you know, the Florida State series, I mean, they, like, they're a great team. Um, Florida State's a really good team. Yeah, a lot of good arms, a lot of good bats all around. Um, you know, we we struggled a little bit. There's some little things that we obviously need to work on, but you know, it really gives us the confidence to know that we can easily play with a team at that caliber. Like they're they're a top team, as everybody knows. And I mean, we definitely could match up with them day to day. And, uh, yeah, that definitely helps our team out. It gives us the confidence we need to keep moving on for the rest of the season. You're a senior, so you're going to be looking towards your uh, your final home series this yes. weekend. Yes. Uh, are you trying to think, not think about that, or you... if I'm honest, it hasn't really crossed through my mind yet. I'm sure it'll cross through right about a Sunday after the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I haven't really thought about it. I'm worrying about other things. I got baseball to worry about, so um, worrying about every game. And I'll worry about the other stuff later. How's, how's, how's catcher working out for you? More, more the everyday catcher. Yeah, you yeah. used to be kind of be a spot guy, mm -hmm. but you've been catching pretty much every game now. I've been catching a lot. Um, they move me around a third every now and then, uh, put green back there. But, you know, it's not bad. Um, I mean, definitely a little more <laughs> wear and tear on the legs than third, but uh, nothing, nothing I can't handle. Tough your way through it. you got to learn how to do it. Appreciate Thanks, Chris. It. Thanks Thank a lot, you. Chris.